you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Of course, we address our issues here, unlike the, the other mental house without walls. Because this story right here, I'm so glad um, I was here for it. And I hope, actually, this person um, does life in prison or considerably a lot of time because of the arrogance and because of the severity of the situation. So, this pervert named Josh Duggar tried to get off on gruesome, hurtcore video daisy destruction. The worst of the worst. An international child porn ring that shows cruel torture and beatings of an 18 month old girl. Do you hear what I said? I said this a pervert likes to watch child porn that shows cruel torture and beatings of an 18 month old girl. He attempted to find Daisy Destruction, the most notorious hardcore video, as part of his perversion. This is all the things that they found out. They found out that the video was so vile that for years it was dismissed as an urban myth. Produced by Australian Peter Scully, it shows an 18-month-old girl being tortured and beaten. The repulsive tape also depicts another girl being covered in hot wax. It's some real crazy people out here, ain't it? I mean, it's some real, real sick people. It's, it's, it's sick, 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 sick tickets out here, y'all. That's why I said the mental house. You safe. You safe right here. Because we dealing with it. We talking about it. And we know what to look for. And we even get to purge our own. Listen to this craziness. Father of seven, Dugar, was found guilty of both counts of child pornography. He's the father of seven. <sighs> He's waiting sentence. The 19 kids and counting reality star faces up to 40 years in federal prison. No, 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 no. Life in prison. If you're thinking about giving R. Kelly life, he should do past life. I'm sorry, you guys. At the end of the day, no matter how much you hate R. Kelly, no matter how much you don't want to acknowledge that his mind is only a 15-year-old, he didn't rape anybody. He didn't rape anybody. Everybody that he was involved with was looking for him, whether they was young people that their mama brought to him or whether his staff brought him to him. And you look at, he looking at life in prison? Uh-uh. Life, life, life. You ain't never heard of You talking about a child. What's a child? Who would want to see an 18-month-old baby being tortured and sexually abused? If that don't deem you the no thought process, a prospect of being locked in pr uh, prison for the rest of your life, then you got darn well R. Kelly ain't going to be, shouldn't be locked up, even thinking about locking him up for the rest of his life. See, the thing about it is, this guy, you know, and the thing about it, my mom used to, used to love this show, and I never liked it. I was like, what's wrong with them? You know, because who would want to have them many damn kids? Uh, let me tell you something. was just as bad as having your kids spread out all over the place and thinking that your presence is not important as far as a unit is concerned. Uh is having a whole bunch of kids, like litters of puppies, and you can't emotionally um, give them uh, even a fourth of what they need because you got too damn many. Listen, raising children is a selfless uh, job that doesn't come with a manual. Take it from me. Okay? I'm... Telling you what I know. This is what I know to be true now. And most of the times, unless you just got some real, real special kids, 
they, when they, they get out and get their own lives, you know, you hard pressed to get them to uh, even come and see you sometimes. Trust me. You know, all they'll do to you. So, so my point is, in saying that, my God, this guy. I mean, my point in saying that is there's no way in hell you can have that many kids and be a a, 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 a good parent. And like I said, it already don't come with a manual. And I don't, and I, what I mean good parent is me to providing that emotional stability that you need. Uh, and so they got one, this one in here in the litter, he was a bad seed. See, he had already molested his sister, right? All this kind of stuff that the family hid. His wife done stood by him after all this craziness. It's insane. I mean, it, you know, it, it's it's insane. This little, this dude. Oh, oh, oh. Let me finish this story so you'll know. Uh The Warp movie, again, depicts an 18-month-old infant being hung upside down, beaten and tortured in what is widely regarded by law enforcement as the most gruesome example of a date of hurt, hurt core subgenre of child porn where perverts get off on seeing kids in pain. It was one of the most horrifying titles reeled off by prosecutors this week. In the federal trial of, of, of this uh, freak, hunched over a computer in a shabby office in his Arkansas car parking lot and hiding behind an anatomy afforded by the dark web, the dad of seven repeatedly searched for Daisy's destruction, according to the government. He was constantly looking for that uh, site. And that guy, that Australian guy, Peter Scully, he's already serving a life sentence in the Philippines because he made that video. And for years, he thought it was that video was, was thought to be an urban legend, but it was the truth. It was the truth. The investigators didn't find the video itself, but as they burrowed deep into his seized HP device, they uncovered two tail torrent files marked DD and DD1, and they likened it to a library index cards. When James Fertel, the director of the FBI's High Technology Investigative Unit, punched his file names into the government database known as child pornography, his worst suspicions were confirmed. DD's DD is associated with Daisy's destruction. It is one of the most offensive video series that I'm familiar with throughout my career. <sighs> Daisy's uh, destruction. He went on depicted various depraved scenes, in, uh, in, in including distressed little girls, some being beaten. On the hands and feet, docks and hot wax. What the hell was he? What kind of dude was this? He should be facing life in prison for sure. And for all of his victims, I'm so sorry for y'all. Um, uh, most of his victims were impoverished local kids. That's that Scully, that Scully dude that made the video. Uh, you know, he, he ran off and they caught his butt. And this is the kind of stuff that uh, Josh Dugar liked. He liked to watch his movies. The guy was sentenced in the Philippines, like I said, for raping kids and um, tra human trafficking. Oh, God. It's sad. You know, because, again, most of the kids that he had um, before he was arrested was um, uh, uh, impoverished local kids procured from their parents for food or promises of work. Others were lured into his home by a harem of teenage prostitutes groomed to be his accomplices. It's a shame. 
that these people uh, are so filthy. He got seven kids. And this is the kind of stuff. His wife, who attended every day of the trial with her husband, had remained composed throughout the hearing, but started weeping as it ended. She left the court alone after her husband was convicted and taken into custody. How would have been left his ass? You, you know, all them damn, where there's smoke, there's fire. Why would you be staying with somebody that long? You got all these kids by this monster. Listen. Josh Duggar is a pervert. He's a freak. He's a pedo. And he got he, he deserves everything that he has coming to him. I don't feel no way sorry. When you mess with kids, then you mess with me. You know, adults just do a lot of things and they do it. But when you messing with little children, especially those that can't even talk yet, you are a freak out of your damn mind. Like the boy that uh, was molesting his daughter and, um, you know, molested her and she was only three months old. It's what... And... Of course, he's in jail. And the sad part about it is when when, um, uh, uh, when he was caught, one of the girls in the church, I'm going to tell you how, a lot of times how brainwashed people in church can be. Well, I hope he get out soon. Because he didn't repent it. He repented. Now, he did that after he got caught. I, I don't feel no ways about this guy except that I hope he gets uh, life. That 40 years ain't about nothing. And then the worst part about the whole thing is that that wasn't enough. Duggar's downfall began on May uh, 14, 2019 when his system made the first two digital handshakes. Not with another pervert, but with a detective. Calmer was using a specialist police program called Toronto Downpour, which targets pedophiles by catching them in the act of sharing child pornography files online. Calmer tipped off feds who traced the IP address to Duger's used car dealership, Wholesale Motor Cars in Springdale, Arkansas, and seized his office HP desktop. An iPhone uh, and a MacBook. After volunteering to speak with agents, but without knowing anything about the nature of the probe, Duggar asked them, "Has someone been downloading child pornography?" <laughs> when forensic science studied the HP, they found someone had installed complicated software called Linux Partition which creates a second independent operating system within the same device. The partition could only be accessed by rebooting, hitting F9, and entering the password Intel 1988, the same password used for Duggar's internet banking and the Duggar family Instagram and Twitter accounts. So it provided a secret online space where he could search for, download, then delete. All his child pornography. All behind the innocent veneer of a standard work computer and a wallpaper of his family. What a sick ticket. Uh, his defense attorneys contend that the former employee or hacker could have exploited Duger's lacks of internet a security to hijack his computer and remote the download stuff without nobody knowing. Ah, nobody believes that. And prosecutors branded that argument as a fantasy and used text and images to place the accused at the keyboard 
continuously. And the jurors unanimously agree with him. The court also heard from a close family friend this week who shed new light on the molestation scandal that engulfed the Dugers in 2015. Tarnishing their wholesome image and leading to the cancellation of their TLC show. Bobby Hope choked back tears as she revealed how Dugard had confessed at age 15 to groping and penetrating his younger sisters during Bible time and while they slept. The defense fought to exclude her testimony, but the judge ultimately agreed that it provided important clues about his sinister appetite for minors. Dugard, the eldest son, the eldest of uh, Jim and Bob and Michelle, uh, Jim Bob and Michelle Dugard, Nine daughters and ten sons will be sentenced in the new year and faces up to 20 years in jail and a fine of $250 uh, dollars on each of the two accounts. His lawyers say he will appeal the verdicts. He, they said when he was sentenced, uh, he glanced anxiously toward his wife and his dad and mom but showed little emotion as each juror was asked to individually affirm, reaffirm their decision. The once clean cut Christian star of 19 kids and county finally broke down in tears. However, as the marshals placed him in handcuffs, uh, but they allowed him to linger for a few months, moments beside his family in a public gallery. Really? I love you, he mouthed towards Anna who remains composed through the brief hearing before bowing her head in support in a supporter's arms and weeping as the whole trial ended. What the hell wrong with y'all? It I ain't trying to be funny, but it's a cult. That's what cult members do. You can do any damn thing to them you want to. Any damn thing can happen to them and they uh they're wondering what's wrong with you. So I feel no ways about Josh. And I'm glad that this has happened to his ass. And good riddance. I don't know what y'all feel about that. I want to know. Leave me your opinions. And tell me please down below. What y'all think about him. Do you think that he should only get 20 years in prison? Or do you think... He should be facing the possibility of life in prison. Babies. Heck out of here with that craziness. Sick of this double-tiered uh, judicial standard. Double standard. 